Hi everybody, it's Birdie. Welcome back to my channel at Positive Bluebird. Thank you for joining me today on Monday. Hi. I'm kidding. I do that all the time. It's just ridiculous. Um, my dog is sitting in the window. Check this out. I'm sitting in my son's room because I, um, I use his windowsill sometimes. Um, there's better lighting in here and sometimes I will vlog from um, the Wizard of Oz room but I need better lighting in there because the only light is above my head um, so occasionally I'll either go to my room or my son's room so that I can just set the phone down but um so <sighs> We're supposed to get some late afternoon thunderstorms and I'm trying to stay awake. I've got a lot of chronic fatigue syndrome that's just kicking my butt. Um, and plus, do you guys ever notice like certain foods um, will either counteract with your medication or your autoimmune diseases and really, really make you so tired? Yeah, every time I eat eggs, whether they're scrambled or however they're made, I will fall asleep like half an hour later on the couch. Um, the same thing if I eat heavy wheat items like pancakes. Um, my stomach will hurt. And you know what's really funny is my doctors a long time ago thought I was allergic to wheat or gluten or both. And... I had to go do that uh, that study where they had to put me out and put that scope down my throat and my stomach. Turns out I'm not allergic to gluten or wheat at all. Um, they thought it was just my medication, which is mostly plant-based um, ingredients that is contributing to what's already in our food. Um, I'm right now trying to lessen the gluten or wheat. And those are two different things, by the way. A lot of people think that wheat and gluten are the same thing. They're actually not. Um, gluten is a little bit um, a heavier ingredient that has wheat in it, but there's a lot of other heavier ingredients in it that are plants, um, plant-based, I should say. So I know these things. I was a sh uh, like a, a junior chef, if you will, back in the day in high school. And um, I took culinary arts class so, yeah, Chef Allen from France. Hey. <laughs> um, <laughs> back in 1991, he came all the way out here from France and taught us kids how to cook. And he was out here for a month. It was really awesome. It was a great experience. So my son is kind of following in my footsteps with music and vocal um, singing at school. He's also taking some culinary classes at school and he wants to do that somewhere in his later years. Um, so I'll, I'm really excited for him. He's going to be starting a new job here pretty soon. You guys, holy cow. He's 16 years old and school is out this week. He will be a junior next year. Hard to believe. Um, and you know, when he gets a job, he wants to open up his first checking and savings account wants to learn how to get a permit and driver's license, all that fun stuff. And the laws have changed, you guys. So be careful. A lot of people think that just because you're 16, you can go get your permit, your license and all that. You can just drive alone. You can't. The laws have really um, been strict where I think your first year after getting your license you have to be in the car with somebody 21 and older. There's curfew hours. So if you guys know something, let me know in the comments. But keep in mind, every state is different. So um, that's something I'm going to have to try to research and help him out with so that I know that he's doing something legal. Um, but anyway, um, yeah, so I'm going to get ready to go and draw. I'm going to show you guys what I'm drawing. Um, a couple of weeks ago in the comment section, a few of you wanted a free drawing from me. So I have not forget, forgotten about um, Unique Mystery. Your cross for your mother is done. I just need to work on the quote saying that you wanted me to put in there. I'm probably going to put it on an extra piece of paper next to the cross. 
Um, but it's going to turn out really nice. I think you'll really like it. And for Pink Zebra, I'm working on your project, which you allowed me to put on film today. So I will be working on that later. Hopefully I won't screw it up. That would be a nightmare. Um, so yeah. Anyway, you guys can put in the comments if you want a free picture from me. I mostly do drawings of scenery. I do mountain landscaping, houses, barns, farms. I am terrible at animals and human beings. So please don't. Yeah, keep that in mind. Um, if you just want your name drawn really cool, I can do that for you. If you want your icon name drawn for your channel, I could do that for you too. Um, and then you could take it to your local place where they make t-shirts or stickers, bumper stickers, whatever. I don't care. Um, it's not a big deal out of me. I mean, everybody's like, oh my God, you can get money out of that. No, don't worry about it. Um, so stay tuned for the drawing. And then you guys are going to be doing the game day. Today is Monday. I'm going to do the game of Would You Rather? Um, and then tomorrow is the Q and A. So if you guys have any questions for me, put them in the descriptions or I'm sorry, the, um, comment section and I can screenshot it and I can answer your questions tomorrow. Please be nice. You guys, there's been a few questions here and there, and I've had to delete them from my haters, my little fans, <clears throat> my crow fans. Um, anyway. So I won't be reading any hate mail or hate questions or whatever. So keep that in mind. Um, you guys probably had some questions for me last week. Some of you um, have turned to the dark side, if you will, and have listened to some nasty rumors from the porch um, and under the rainbow. Notice my subliminal messages of those certain people. But um yeah, so you guys, I can't help it. If you're going to listen to that gossip and rumors, that's your problem, not mine. Um, I don't go around picking people from YouTube or from my friends list or my channel and decide to write nasty emails and made up stuff about any of you and then send it to another person. Um, if that's happening, I mentioned that briefly yesterday that you know, in the social media world and with high tech um, computer stuff, people are able to make screenshots of somebody's profile. They can, you know, video collage it onto this. They can, you know, type up this and change words of this. And come on, guys, you've seen my channel. You've been here long enough to know that I am not a negative person. And I'm sorry that that's going around. I can kind of laugh it off. I have visited the porch a few times. It's not bothering me a bit. I'm called the cuckoo bird and crow lady or negative crow, whatever. And, you know, those are actually kind of some nice ideas if I did go to the dark side, but I don't ever plan on doing that. So, yeah. Anyway, waste of chatter. <laughs> Let's go and have some fun. It's Monday. Stay positive, everybody. Mwah. Peace out.